Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are here with another vlog, the very first Christmas themed vlog, which I'm really, really excited about. Uh, I definitely am a huge fan of Christmas and the holidays. So I thought in today's video, usually I do show myself for the intros, but I've been working my bum off for the last four days, trying to get everything out and all the Christmas decorations and working on the tree. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna show you a little bit of the kitchen today. Uh, I hope you enjoy watching today's vlog and there's some hauls in here. All the stuff in here is from HomeSense and also Lowe's. I went to a ton of Christmas stores and got lots of stuff. So you'll see that in today's vlog as well as cleaning, organizing, and getting everything up. So I'm really excited. Max says hi. If you guys have not yet subscribed, definitely subscribe now. Join the fam. And I have lots of holiday content coming, lots of holiday giveaways. I'm actually going to be giving away one of our coffee machines for Christmas. So I'm really excited about that. Stay tuned. Um, also working on my Black Friday launches. I have three launches launches launching Black Friday, so I'm really excited. Um, but yeah, if you guys have not yet subscribed, subscribe now. Let's roll right in. Good morning, you guys. So I have been busy this morning just getting all the Halloween stuff put away into the containers we have down in the basement, and I am getting ready for all my Christmas decor to go up and uh, basically, I was like, why am I not vlogging this? I definitely should be vlogging this. So I um, got out of my robe, changed, and I'm going to be cleaning all this morning. So we still have our big thing of candy right here. I actually mixed all the candy that me and Sophia got and just put it in here. I'm going to be putting it into like a plastic bag. And everything else, I took down all the Halloween stuff that I had. There were a lot of like placemats and little pumpkins, decor, and stuff like that that I just put in one big container. This all has to be cleaned as well. This was just crazy. <laughs> I, sh I showed on Insta stories in the morning like how much toys and candy we had everywhere. We had a little get together at our house. There were two other kids and uh, their parents, which are are friends of ours and uh, like yeah it was just a ton of stuff everywhere so we cleaned this morning everything is all nice here I basically just have to do the floors so um, all this stuff right here you guys remember I had all my fall decor so that's all gone put it into a big container I have my vacuum right here which is a lifesaver and then after that I'm just gonna go with a hot water spray bottle and then clean the floors make sure they're nice and clean and then over in this area, so this is going to take me a little bit longer to do just because the floors get a little bit sticky and just footprints and stuff. Yes, I need to get another rug. Hi, Maxi. Morning. And uh, we have the keyboard there. I'm actually going to put that downstairs and just clear out the whole front area. And then I was also doing the powder room, so I vacuum the floors. I just have to get a new towel in there and then clean the counters. So I definitely like to clean the powder room a lot just because everyone's always using the washroom. Uh, but yeah, good start so far. And my office right here. So I have all the Christmas stuff out right now because this is kind of where I threw stuff in here, like all the new things I bought. This also has to be clean, so I'm gonna organize it in here. I do like to decorate my office and get it festive as well. And if you guys were wondering why I'm doing it so early, I know I spoke about this, I think in my last vlog, uh, we have an early Christmas shoot. So if you guys are planning on doing a holiday or festive shoot, definitely book with your photographers now. Like. People get so booked up, it's absolutely crazy. So I, I definitely wanted to go with Desiree again. She did the girl's second birthday. She did like the fall shoot that we just did and she's fantastic. So we have the shoot on November 12th. We also have our Christmas video that day. So I have to have everything up in, within two weeks. And this is obviously a big space, a bigger house than like what I'm used to. So uh, I just wanted to start and do it with you guys. So let me know if you want to see more vlogs of the Christmas decorating. And I know these are some of my favorite videos to watch. If you guys actually want to see a really awesome like holiday festive videos for Christmas time, go to Miss Liz Hart. Like she has the most awesome Christmas uh, videos and I just love watching her. So um, yeah, I have one basket or sorry, one bin here that I just have small decor and stuff almost done, but like almost everything is finished and put away and you should see how many bins we have for Christmas. You guys, I'm doing three trees. Like, that's crazy. And we just bought a brand new nine foot Christmas tree for our living room. So I'm gonna show you that. We got it at Canadian Tire. Ryan picked it up. And uh, yeah, basically the tree that I had before in the beauty room, that is going to be me and Sophia's tree. I can't wait to decorate for them. And I am just like super casual today. So yes, cleaning day. And I finally opened these little trees from Crane Bro. Look how cute they are. They even have like little fake snow on there. So I don't think you saw it from my last vlog, but I wanted to quickly show you since these are adorable.
and the girls are probably waking up in the next about 20 minutes because they only sleep for an hour and a half. So this is the time that I had to obviously clean and film. Uh, but I thought I would also, yeah, just bring out all the decorations and kind of just decorate with you. The cleaning part definitely takes the longest, but I'm happy I'm halfway there. This is where our Christmas tree is going. So I'm really, really excited to share with you guys what that's going to look like uh, and the new tree. So yeah. Now the other thing that I haven't done yet, I haven't got anything for our mantle. I've seen some stuff at Crate and Barrel, but I wasn't a fan of it. Like there, I think were two or three different selections for stockings. Um, and I don't know, I don't know what I can find yet. There is some nice like white uh, decorations that I did see. Cause I think I do want to do like white with pops of green on there and some silver and gold. So Ah, still on the hunt for that have not got it yet and I have not done a mantle this big before so I definitely need something quite long Okay, so next task right here got a little bit of hot water in a spray bottle So this is the best tip that our builders gave us don't use too much product on your hardwood if you want to maintain it um, So I just have hot water in the spray bottle and I just use a little bit go through the entire floor and use our Swiffer. So I'm gonna be doing that and then I'm really excited after I finish cleaning and then I can finally, finally grab the decor and do the decor. Okay, so Ryan is gone to get the princesses right now, and I've never seen this island so spotless. I did the entire kitchen. I even did the cabinets and like wiped off the fridge, uh, and we just need a clean space before we bring out all new decor and stuff. Uh, but I have the tree skirt right here I basically wanted to see. I was just discussing or discussing Christmas lights with Ryan, so he's gonna be handling that. Oh, sorry, it's really dark because it's sunny. So it's really dark in that corner right now just because of the sun, but you can see the size of it. So that is the skirt we got. It's got pearls on it, so pretty. Okay, so it is nighttime now. Just put the girls down, have my espresso. I am burning a sweat, bringing up all the boxes. Uh, thank goodness I didn't work out today because these boxes are heavy and I still have a lot more to bring up. I have Hunger Games on TV right now. This is like the third one. I was watching it with my friend on Halloween and then just wanted to watch the rest of them. And uh, this is the third one, so yeah. Um, lots of stuff though. Lots of photo frames. We have a picture of Santa. There's so much stuff I have to take out. So excited though. Forgot how much gold things I have too. Like look at this really cute little unicorn. I have a gold deer. Lots and lots of gold. And I just found the pink stuff. This was all from my beauty room. So I already told you guys I'm doing a tree upstairs, a white and pink one for me and Sophia. So a lot of the pink decor and just stuff I had um, is gonna be going upstairs. So I'm gonna work on that probably sometime later in the week and focus more on the main floor. But there's so much stuff. I just brought up two more boxes. So we are getting there.
Okay, so we are on day two. You can see the reef is up right there and Ryan just put it up. Um, I'm just making lunch and I'm still working on the tree right now and um, white tree obviously. So what I love to do is the fake snow. So I'm just using a ton of cotton that I had from last year. I might have to buy another bag because this tree is so much bigger and just fill the spaces and it just makes it look so much more just like festive and also fills in the spots because I think a white tree is really hard because you can see through it. Um, so it definitely is a little bit more challenging, but I did put up a few ornaments right here. So these were the ones that I got from Home Sense with the pearls, so pretty right there. And then a little snowflake. Um, I did put out like my Santa. I don't know if I'm gonna leave it here because I think the girls might touch it, but I might leave it here for the shoot. And this I got from the bay, it's so cute. And I need to find like other little things to put on there. But yeah, today is day two of decor <laughs> and Christmas ornaments and Christmas festivities. And these boxes are only the half of it. Like there's so many more Christmas boxes downstairs because I have two trees. So I have all the pink ornaments that I just pulled out. Um, so you guys remember the pink one that I did last year. So we got lots of gold and pink ornaments right here, little camera gold and silver and then i also got around to doing my dining room whoa shaky um but it's not finished yet so once it's finished then i will show you guys what it looks like but i really really like this runner it's so beautiful i love the jewels i had these two little candle holder things um i think i got them from pier one a long time ago but yeah just still working on this <laughs> Huge fan of the nutcrackers, so I have a bunch of those too. I have the little trees that I got from Crate and Barrel, so I'm still working on it. I do have to get a middle center piece for floral, um, but yeah, I think it's looking good so far. And then also plates, silverware, I need to find that too. I also had these from last year, but they're too gold. I think I'm gonna get off gold and do more silver. I might buy different napkins too and just keep the little blinged holder as well. Uh, just because I do want to do a little bit more silver. So yeah, this is definitely a work in progress. Lots of cleaning and lots of ornaments to do and filling the tree. I actually, yeah, I need to buy a lot more cotton, but I'm going to keep going at it. And these videos are always so fun for me to watch. But yeah, we're on day two. Okay, so we are about to head to Lowe's. I am with the princesses. Are you having some cookies? Is that yummy? You're being silly, aren't you? Aren't you? Hey, don't be silly. Okay, mommy's gonna eat it. Can mommy have it? Oh, okay. Okay, so in my office now, uh, Ryan just helped me put my second Christmas treat up, this one here. So this is the one inspired by me and Sophia with all the pink and gold ornaments. And um, I kind of debated between putting this upstairs or down here and actually Ryan made good sense. The, we have higher ceilings um, on our main floor, so it just made a lot more sense to put it here. And then also there's a big window, so you can see it at the front. So um, yeah, and then it goes along with all the pink and gold decor that I have. So I did put some stuff in here, which you guys would have seen from last year. Uh, I still have lots of stuff to grab, so. Yeah, and I bought the girls some new ornaments. There's some baby ones I had from last year with their names like custom on it So I'll show you guys all of those again if you haven't seen them, but I'm so excited I'm like, oh, I need to make hot chocolate. <laughs> I'm just so festive right now So the girls are just eating right now. We just got back. We went to Lowe's and Home Sense as a family, the girls came and they were holding all my stuff for me. It was really cute. But um, basically, I wanted to go to HomeSense today because I knew it was going to be dead and there was nobody there. So it was really nice to shop. And um, there was a girl that was putting out all new stuff and I literally was grabbing all the stuff she was putting out. So um, I got so many good things and I basically just wanted to quickly show you before I put everything away. But so what I figured out is our tree obviously is a massive tree this year like huge so i needed to get some bigger ornaments because the ones i had from last year just didn't look nice so i got some really really big ones and i found, found these really nice like iridescent ones that have a kind of like a sparkle on the inside so i got four sets of that i thought these were really neat and so did ryan these are like icicles super cool they have like jewels on them too so i got some sets of those i got some snowflakes these are all from lowe's 
and then some ones that had like snow on them so i thought these ones were really nice too like the fake snow and then i got so many christmas trees i wanted to put them all into like a little section uh since i am doing a pink and gold theme in my office i thought these would look nice in there and then some silver for obviously our kitchen and then right here this was a fake present and i just thought this would be really nice for underneath our tree it's just furry and really pretty uh has a nice big bow and obviously i'm doing the silver theme i have a big blanket right here so soft and i thought this white would be really nice and cozy in our living room and okay this gingerbread house i had to get they had so many different styles but this one i liked the best it was just classic and uh it's so cute so i had to get that i'm not sure where i'm gonna put it yet this is gonna go into my office so so pretty i think it was really inexpensive too 12.99 so it was a great price as well and then little christmas tree right here with the gold i have the clear one in the back here with the silver so i just thought that would be really nice for like um an added touch somewhere maybe somewhere in the kitchen and then this one here is also beautiful and it has gold in it so really really nice and then that i don't want to take the bag out yet because it's a really really big christmas tree but it has some sparkles so i want to be really really careful when i take that out um i'll show you guys that after and a stocking so i have six stockings but a few of them don't match for our living room so i wanted to see if this would work and this is really nice so uh really nice 16.99 and then also i got these beautiful placemats for our um island so i just liked these they had a sparkle to them and yeah really really pretty how much were these these were 14.99 and the top still looks really funny because I have not reached up there yet. I actually have to use Ryan's ladder to get up there. So once we do that later tonight, we'll put the star up and I do have to fluff it out a little bit more and then put the ornaments on. Okay, good morning. So we are on the third morning of filming and decorating. I am actually, well, I have a call in about 30 minutes, but I'm going to be putting away all this decor, working on my office tree as well. Like, I cannot get over how cute this is. I had so many messages yesterday on Instagram and it's from HomeSense. Seriously, I go there all the time and you can only find one thing and then once it's gone, it's gone. So it's kind of like home goods as well, but Oh, the gingerbread house. I'm so excited about that too. And all the trees are so pretty. Um, but I did find yesterday, last night actually, I was looking for something that I can use um, just in between to make it look more fluffy. And so white trees are honestly very hard to decorate because you can see through it. Uh, so I got some really nice, almost like a boa, like not feathers, but I'll show it. Once, once it's in, um, I think it arrives tomorrow, then I'll be finishing off the tree. But you put it in between and it just fills the space really nice. So it might look even better than the cotton that I use. So really excited for that. Um, I also am obsessed because these bulbs I got from Lowe's, they actually look pink when they're like on and they look so pretty so it really changes up the look and i'm going to be adding darker um what's it called ornaments today to the tree because i just want to do all the light ones first um but yeah another day Okay, so I'm in my office. I thought I would decorate in here a little bit since I'm going to be working on the tree. Um, there's a tree right behind me that I have not done yet and I'm still working on the living room one. But since I'm waiting for a few things for the our main Christmas tree, I thought I'd work in here. Of course, it's pink and girly because that's me. And I just want to obviously um, have different areas in the house. So we're doing the classic Christmas in our living room. And then in here, I thought it'd be kind of like gold and pink and girly and just my aesthetic. So um, I just have some decor out front here. And then everything that I got from HomeSense is basically on my shelf here. I do still have to get my photo blown up so it doesn't look so uh, incomplete in my office, but I haven't done that yet. I just want to get out all the pretty decor and I love this little Christmas tree I got. There are a lot of sparkles on it, but I was very careful. I put some of my camera ornaments on there, which are from, I think, 
home scents. I got them last year and then all the new stuff I got. So I just got these in the mail. They are from Amazon and I definitely needed some new baskets for the girls' toys. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put these downstairs in the basement um, or upstairs in their playroom yet, but they are really nice. I just have to kind of round them out. I'm waiting for actually two more shipments. So I have a ton of stuff I got from Michaels and then also from um, Amazon, I think, yeah. So there's still lots to come. I did, however, finish my kitchen area, but I knew this was gonna be like a two to three part video just because I had to get a lot more things for the tree. So for the tree, I had to get tree filler, I had to get ribbon, I had to get a bunch of other stuff. And then I thought I would wait to put on like all the ornaments just cause I don't want them breaking while I'm putting like ribbon and all the stuff to fill the inner parts of the tree. So um, that'll be in the next video for sure because I think that's coming later today, but Anyways, Christmas series are just awesome to watch anyways. I put all of my new stuff in here. So my entire theme, as you guys can probably tell now, is a winter wonderland. It is white, silver with pops of pink and gold. So I just thought that would be so pretty for the holidays. There's not too much pink and there's also not too much gold, just like a little bit. Um, so majority is silver and white. So I'm really, really excited. And our, our photo shoot, our Christmas shoot's next week. So I just have to get everything ready and prepped. Um, I still like have boxes everywhere, but it's gonna still take me a while. And then over here, I ended up moving the tray. So I put the Louis Vuitton tray over here and then just some things that like the girls can't really break. I had some heavier things on here and I'm like, nope, I'm not doing it. So they haven't actually touched this though. So I'm really happy about that. And then also I have just some stockings right here until we get something for up here so we can hang them, but I'm still on the hunt for that. I have not got it yet, so. Still lots to do, but I was really excited to just show you guys like my whole process. Okay, so lastly, I thought I'd show you guys the dining room. I haven't finished it yet. It is taking me quite a while because I'm missing some things too. So we have a big floral arrangement going in the middle here that I haven't gotten yet. Um, I actually have Lynn making that uh, for our photo shoot and then also just all the plates and everything. There's some things that I still have to add. Um, but I wanted to quickly show you guys what I was doing in here. So we have silver and pops of green, which I really, really love. I still have a ton of stuff over here that I haven't figured out where to put yet. I do love these little plates here. So I got these, I think a few years ago from Pier One. I also love the little napkin holders as well. Um, this stuff I haven't situated yet, but definitely loving the pops of green. And then we do have like this setup as well, which I might change it around, but I do like it for right now. So we have gold and green. So basically what my goal was, was to kind of have separations in the house. So the kitchen area uh, will be like a winter wonderland. And then in here, a little bit of a different vibe with the greenery. So I just wanted to switch things up a little bit, not have it stay consistent just because it is um, a large house and I would like to just have a little bit of um, you know different things going on and then even upstairs in our master bedroom which I haven't shown yet we actually did red and green so that's also exciting but um, I don't think you have to consistently do like all everything the same theme I think it's you know nice when you can mix things up um, but yeah once I have I think the floral in the middle here it'd definitely be super life-changing and create the entire table and um, I'm excited. So yeah, I just want to show you guys that really quickly. I still have lots of stuff to do as you can see. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun to watch the process and the cleaning and just getting everything up. So I think we're on day four now, which is pretty crazy to me, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. And like I said, this is probably gonna be a part two, part three series um, of just decorating the tree and getting the holiday festivities already in my house. So like I said, next week we have our photo shoot. So I'll be sharing a little bit of that and just, uh, we actually have the balloon company coming back. She's going to make a little something special to have in the house. I'm still not sure where we're putting it yet but um i am thinking right it's a mess right now in the house but um like right over here i think that would be kind of nice so i just thought i'd share that with you guys and um yeah we are getting getting things ready over here but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching today's vlog i know it was long um but like i said i'm so excited for christmas and the holidays and i hope you guys are too let me know what color theme you're doing for christmas down in the comments i would love to know and of course if you guys have not yet subscribed to my channel subscribe now and of course i will see you guys in my next vlog